Spanning over 311 meters and weighing in at 138,000 gross tons, the massive adventure of the seas is the third of Royal Caribbean's innovative and elegant Voyager class ships. Following in the Voyager tradition, the adventure boasts some of the most advanced design and upscale amenities in the industry. From shopping and bar hopping in the Royal Promenade to rock climbing on the sports deck and ice skating in Studio B, Royal Caribbean offers more ways to unwind and enjoy your vacation than any other cruise line at sea. The elegant Royal Promenade is the hub of the adventure, with neighborhood pubs like the Duck and Dog and Gravity, taste temptations from Cafe Promenade and stylish shops. The bustling shopping district has something for everyone. But there's more to the Royal Promenade than eating and shopping. It also plays host to festive, colorful parades and an elegant black tie champagne toast hosted by your captain. Pop into the Vegas-style Casino Royale, offering slots, roulette, and some of the hottest cards at sea. If you're looking for more adrenaline-fueling pursuits, make your way up to the sports deck for rollerblading and rock climbing. And if you want to burn off that indulgent dessert, head over to the Ship Shape Center for a full array of free weights, machines, and exercise classes. If that's not enough to keep you busy, there's also a nine-hole miniature golf course and a professional golf simulator to get your swing ready for that next round. All this action makes for some healthy appetites, so the adventure boasts everything from fine dining to casual snacks to tempt your taste buds and get you fueled for fun. The luxurious three-tier dining room provides world-class fine dining in a relaxed, elegant atmosphere every night of your cruise. For more intimate occasions, the exclusive Portofino offers delicious Italian cuisine in a quiet, romantic setting. And if you're looking for a quick snack or a buffet-style meal before venturing into port, just drop by the Windjammer or Cafe Promenade for a quick bite. The Adventure of the Seas also showcases some of the finest entertainment on the high seas. The gorgeous Lyric Theater is home to fabulous Broadway-style shows and performances by A-list comedy, variety, and musical acts. The entertainment doesn't stop there, though. A live television studio by day, Studio B slides back its floors to make way for cool art, hot ice, a stylish professional figure skating extravaganza performed by a graceful international cast of skaters on Studio B's ice skating rink. The fun doesn't stop with Adventure's world-class entertainment. Take the celebration into the wee hours with live music and dancing in our fabulous lounges and bars. Jester's pumps out the hottest in dance music, and the Imperial Lounge hosts sets by a variety of versatile live bands. Or you can hit the laid-back schooner bar to enjoy our terrific request-ready piano player. If you're looking for a quiet cocktail instead, the Connoisseur Club is the perfect place for a nightcap and a fine cigar after that gourmet meal in the dining room. And the Champagne Bar serves up some of the finest wines and champagnes in an elegant but relaxed atmosphere. When it's finally time to relax, grab a lounge chair and soak in some tropical rays up on Adventure's pool deck. Boasting three sparkling pools, six hot tubs, and the famous belly flop contest, there's plenty of room to frolic in the water or just relax in the soothing sun. All this is just the beginning of the fun and excitement aboard the Adventure of the Seas. So sit back and relive all the memories of your Royal Caribbean vacation in your Cruise in Review. The port of Malaga is a picturesque seaside city considered to be the capital of Spain's Costa del Sol, or Sun Coast. Positioned in the south-central region of Andalusia, Malaga was once described by writer Vincente Alexandre as the city of paradise. The crystal-clear waters of the Mediterranean and the tropical gardens that line the Alameda Principal add to that vision. Over the past 3,000 years, Malaga has hosted a great number of cultures, all attracted by the commercial success of its harbor, and today the city itself is a living cultural museum. During a short walk through the many pedestrianized streets, you'll pass Roman ruins, Muslim fortifications, Renaissance architecture, and a throng of tourist restaurants and tapas bars. For the lover of art, the city proudly calls Pablo Picasso one of its most famous sons. Although the Phoenicians and Romans made great strides in the region, it's the legacy left by the Moors that is among the most noticeable.
Nowhere else in Spain is the Moorish influence more prevalent than in the town of Granada, an oasis hidden among the peaks of the Sierra Nevada mountains. Granada was once the center of the famous Nazarid dynasty during the 13th century, and it was from the palace of the Alhambra that Granada was ruled. To the west are the better known resorts of the Costa del Sol. Marbella, Tormelinus, and Puerto Banus boast white sandy beaches and nearly unlimited sunshine. The whitewashed village of Mijas and the caves of Nurja draw visitors interested in the region's natural beauty. For a more intricate view of Andalusia, visits can also be made to the mountaintop town of Ronda, which is home to the oldest bull ring in Spain and one of the largest collections of monuments in the region.
About a hundred miles off the coast of Africa lies the volcanic archipelago better known as the Canary Islands. The Canaries, although part of Spain, have a distinct flavor influenced by its motherland, centuries of marauding pirates, and nearby North Africa civilizations. As the largest island, Tenerife and its port city of Santa Cruz serve as the administrative and political hub of the Canaries. Tenerife is one of the most diverse of the seven Canary Islands and is home to Spain's highest mountain, Mount Tiede. Towering at an altitude of more than 12,000 feet, Tiede's snow-capped peak stands in strong contrast to Tenerife's subtropical coastline. In between are a variety of microclimates and landscapes that include the lush Orotava Valley, sandy beaches, banana plantations, and volcanic moonscapes. Santa Cruz de Tenerife is not only the ship's port of call, but the capital of Tenerife. A small city with a population of just under 300,000, Santa Cruz is undeniably Spanish and authentic in its design. Its squares and gardens give way to historical buildings. The first settlers on the Canary Islands are thought to have been the Guanches, a cave-dwelling civilization who arrived around the first century BC from North Africa. European settlers arrived much later during the 14th century and began the race for conquest of the islands shortly thereafter. Both Spain and Portugal vied for control of the Canaries, which resulted in a number of naval skirmishes. By the end of the 15th century, Spain laid claim to the island chain, which later attracted pirate raids. The well-known buccaneer Horatio Nelson sailed into Santa Cruz Harbor at the end of the 18th century in search of Spanish treasure, but lost his arm and pride battling the townspeople. Under a royal decree, the Canaries became free ports in the 19th century, expanding trade and agriculture. Although most of the Spanish colonies were lost during the Spanish-American War, the Canaries remained a significant part of Spain. The islands gained autonomy in the 1980s, while the local parliament concentrated on cultivating tourism to the island. Today, the islands are considered Europe's winter palace in the sun.
to the nerve center of the adventure of the seas to get a behind the scenes look at the state of the art technology in use on one of the most technologically advanced cruise ships at sea. Our captain has invited us up to the bridge to explain some of this amazing technology and let us observe as he pilots the vessel out of port. Before we can depart, the captain must brief bridge officers on the planned route into the open seas. Once everyone is up to speed, the departure process begins. Officers are positioned at bridge wings that extend from the port and starboard sides of the bridge, enabling them to visually confirm that there are no obstacles in adventure's path. Officers can also pilot the vessel from these positions, with all necessary ship controls located at both positions. The central command post of the bridge is the cockpit, where the captain and his team can access ship controls and computer-based navigation systems. Variables like wind, ocean currents, ship speed, and traffic are monitored from the cockpit with seven state-of-the-art bridge computers at the ready. Officers also watch over the adventure's vital functions from the bridge. From this central monitoring post, they can track ship stability, watertight integrity, sprinkler systems, and the ship's 5,000 smoke detectors. Readings are taken constantly to account for any irregularities throughout the entire vessel. The adventure also employs a high-tech autopilot of sorts called the Vessel Management System, or VMS, that analyzes all variables and data related to the vessel's course. This amazing advancement can be used to automatically adjust engine speed, steer the ship, and compensate for changing currents and weather conditions. The adventure's captain and bridge officers have high praise for VMS, citing its astounding accuracy. Powering and steering the massive adventure of the seas are three advanced pod propulsion systems. One fixed pod acts as the main means of propulsion, while two rotating azipods are mounted on the aft corners of the vessel. These azipods rotate 360 degrees to steer the adventure and provide additional power to pull the ship through the ocean. When the adventure happens upon rough seas, her four stabilizer wings can be extended to smooth the waters and keep everyone comfortable. But even the powerful ocean has a hard time rocking the enormous adventure. As we sail into open seas after another textbook departure, we thank the captain and his officers for inviting us up to the bridge for a look at the amazing technology behind one of the most advanced ships at sea, the fabulous Adventure of the Seas.
Royal Caribbean strives to provide you with an experience that's like no vacation on Earth. And it takes a lot of work to meet the needs of the Adventure's 3,000 plus guests. The Adventure's 1,200 crew members from 57 countries work day and night to keep everything ship shape and tend to every last detail of your cruise. Let's take a look behind the scenes of the Adventure of the Seas and see what it takes to make your vacation so memorable. Royal Caribbean strives to protect the environment and the beautiful seas their ships sail. Our Save the Waves policy endeavors to leave absolutely nothing behind, so the Adventure utilizes a state-of-the-art recycling plant to cut down on the amount of waste generated throughout a cruise. Aluminum, glass, and cardboard are all sorted and processed right on board, and anything that can't be recycled is incinerated to reduce the amount of refuse to be removed from a vessel in port. Fresh water is an imperative while at sea, and the Adventure's state-of-the-art water purification and desalinization plant pumps out thousands of gallons of sparkling water every day for cooking, showering, and drinking. The plant also filters wastewater down to environmentally safe levels, exceeding international standards and actively demonstrating Royal Caribbean's commitment to the environment. As you could imagine, it takes a lot of power to pull 138,000 tons of floating city through the seas. To accomplish this daunting task, the Adventure employs six 185-ton, 12-cylinder diesel engines, each capable of generating 17,000 horsepower. A full staff of highly trained engineers and ship officers must monitor the power plants constantly in order to maintain propulsion and electricity for the ship. Gourmet meals and exquisite food service are what you expect from a Royal Caribbean vacation. And behind each delicious taste treat is a skilled culinary team. With more than 5,000 guests and crew members on board, the 210-person galley crew must prepare more than 22,000 meals every day, in addition to more than 49,000 appetizers and 63,000 desserts every week. The adventure also serves 18,000 slices of pizza every week. It takes literally tons of ingredients for the galley crew to whip up this amount of food every week. So the adventure is restocked with over 500,000 pounds of provisions before every cruise, including 13,000 pounds of beef, 8,000 pounds of chicken, and 11,000 pounds of seafood. All these ingredients are stored below deck in huge refrigeration chambers until needed. Yet another huge task on the adventure crew's laundry list of duties is, well, laundry. Thousands of sheets, tablecloths, and crew uniforms are washed every day in the Adventure's onboard laundry facility. It also boasts a full-service dry cleaning facility, so you'll be sure that your stunning dress or dapper tuxedo is ready for that elegant formal affair. The Adventure of the Seas is a massive floating city, teeming with a diverse complement of staff and crew working around the clock to tend to every last detail of your vacation. From the captain piloting the vessel to galley crew preparing gourmet meals, the professionals aboard the Adventure are there to make your cruise like no vacation on Earth. Okay. I can't believe I forgot. Me, me olvidé los lentes de contacto. I forgot my contacts. 
Somebody have a glasses that I can use? Alguien tiene uh, uh, gafas que puede usar? Al <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Quizás esto me ayuda un poco. Let me, let, let me see. Maybe it will help me. ¿A dónde está? Talk to me. Hablame que no, no te veo. Ok, ok, ok. All right, my friend, I want you to put this in your pocket. Put it in your pocket. You won't be needed no more. Ok. Please don't move, ok? Please don't move. I want you to protect yourself. I'm not that good. Eres el nombre de nuestro capitán, director de hotelería y de toda la tripulación. Muchas gracias por estar aquí haciendo este crucero con nosotros. Muchas gracias por su paciencia con mi portuñol, español mezclado con portugués. Y también, muy importante, que esperamos que tengan disfrutado de su crucero aquí a bordo y que vuelven. Y si algún día nos encuentra una vez más, puede hablar con nosotros. Now, because they didn't want me to deliver the message, they wanted to come actually and tell them tell you themselves to you this message. So it is my pleasure to tell you that right now, here tonight, I have representatives of the entire Adventure of the Seas family right here. So please, Adventure of the Seas family, la familia del Adventure of the Seas está aquí para decir muchas gracias a ustedes en este momento. We're gonna start with the Royal Caribbean cast, the Ice cast, and also our dancers here. Let's give them all a big round of applause with so many uh, shows for you this cruise vacation. Thank you very much, nuestros cantantes de bailarinos y también el elenco de patinadores de hielo. We have also a cruise director staff and activity staff led by our activities manager Carlos Torres. Carlos, nuestro gerente de actividades y también toda la equipo esportiva de los jóvenes aquí también. Now, come over guys, come over here. We have representatives from all our departments as well. Also, don't forget the orchestra, the Adventure of the Seas Orchestra representing all the musicians on board. No podemos nos olvidar también de la orquesta de Adventure of the Seas representando también, claro, todos los músicos que tenemos aquí a bordo de Adventure of the Seas. Now, take a look. On the islands, coming down the islands, we have representatives from the housekeeping team, los cabareros, with their little uh, towel animals, con sus animalcitos en las toallas. The bar staff, we have our cooks and chefs, nuestros cocineros, the facilities team as well, la equipo de facilidades, the casino staff, representing all the revenue areas here on board. So, thank you very much once again, and on behalf of the entire Adventure of the Seas family. Una vez más, muchas gracias, en nombre de la familia de la Adventure of the Seas. Bye-bye, have a great evening, everybody. Get us through this and I hope to see you all again. Bye bye.